Hey there, everybody. So let's take a look at, one, at a couple of the solutions to uh, Chapter 9. <clears throat> um, hopefully, you, you've already taken a swing at them and probably even solved them and just want to see another way of doing it. Uh, so in the chapter, we set up Sancho so that we've got uh, music. So uh, And the music changes uh, when, you know, when he's out here in the pasture. We have this nice music, and then when he goes inside the town it changes to that other town music. So what we want to do next is get it so that it changes music when we go into the forest. And that's going to be a little bit different. Uh, now if we take a look what we've got, let's go ahead and turn narrator off. Don't really need to listen to him. If we take a look what we've got, so this is what we've got, it, and this kind of makes sense. Uh, you know, so uh, in the chapter, we built this system to where whenever we tag or whenever we come into contact with the town trigger, we go over here, we change our music, uh, we change our footsteps, and then we also wait until we exit that town trigger. When we exit, we come back here and we play our exploration music. So it makes sense, rationally, that I can do the same thing whenever I come in contact with a trigger called forest. I can play that music. Uh, you know, we've got it all set up here. I just copied all that. And then whenever I leave my forest, I can come over here and play my pasture music. Okay, here's the problem, though. Let's, let's take a look here. Let's zoom out. So our forest area whoop, is over here. All right, so let me grab my town trigger. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my town trigger. Just control D. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it forest trigger and I'm going to set it to be a tag of forest, something I've already got in here and then I'm going to go ahead and position it over here. Now hopefully you see where this problem is coming up. Okay, so here we are. I've got my forest over here and okay, this is my forest area. This is my trigger. It doesn't match. Okay, I've got a matching problem here. So what I need to do then to kind of think through this, you know, if I leave this here, whenever I exit this, you know, if I run out this side, it's going to start playing the pasture music. I don't want it to do that. So what I want it to do is I want it to know when I've come back to this side. Well, I could set up a, a trigger around here. Okay, well, yeah, I got the same basic problem there. So perhaps what I can do is I can set up a trigger over here. When I enter it, I play, start playing my music, and then when I exit it, I wait until I come back here. And how will I know when I come back here? Whenever I cross the bridge, okay? So let, let's, let's kind of put this together a little bit here. So I'm going to bring this and just get it started. And I'm going to put that, eh, you know, I don't need it that big. That's way too big for what I need here. Here we go. And kind of position this, snug it up to the edge of the bridge maybe. Maybe something like that. There we go. Nice. All right. And it's tagged as four. So let's see what happens. Let's take our Sancho guy. I'm going to go ahead and... Where are you at, Sancho? There he is. See, I don't want to run all the way across my island. So I'm just going to bring Sancho over here. And let's take a look here. So if I run over here, run across my bridge... Come up into here. There's our nice music. Come back over here. There's my nice pasture music. That's working flawlessly. But here's where the problem comes in. Let's run through here and let's keep going till we come out the other side of that little trigger we made. Which should happen at some point in time. There we just crossed it. And we're back to our pasture music. Not at all what we want. So what we're going to need is we're going to need something in between there. So let's bring up our music. So what I'm saying is right here where we're doing this exciting, before we go back to play exploration, we need to be checking for something. So let's add an event here. And the event I want to add, I'm going to edit my instance. My event is going to be uh, left forest. Okay, there we go. And let's change this from left from play ex exploration to left forest. And we'll go into our state. So whenever we exit our forest, we're going to do our left forest event. 
let's add a new state and let's I'm gonna call this one test trigger or you know, whatever I'm waiting until I completely leave the forest and this event is gonna come down to here right and now I'm gonna add a transition that's gonna be play exploration that's gonna come back over to there now what I need to do is figure out well how can I know when I've truly left the forest and I'm ready to go back here all right well here's what we're gonna do let's go find our bridge here's our bridge and I'm gonna go ahead and come down here let's change our tag on our bridge from untagged to bridge let's come down here let's add a component I'll go to physics box collider looks pretty nice there and I will make this a trigger okay so what I'm gonna do let's go back to our music manager and inside here let's do an action browser let's do a trigger event and this trigger event is going to be on trigger enter with my my bridge and the event I want to send is going to be my play exploration alright let's see what we got so let's see if that solved <coughs> that um, first problem we were looking at. Run all the way over here, come out the other side when it switches. Okay, we've got our nice dangerous music going on here. I made this trigger too big, I have to run too far. Okay, here's what's something I want you to notice. I've left the trigger. See, I've left the forest, and I'm now in test trigger, and it won't leave here until after I've collided with the bridge thing. That includes if I run back through any other trigger, it doesn't care. It's just waiting for me to hit this bridge. So let's take a look. Come back into here. Let's turn. Let's run all the way back over there. Come on, Sancho, run, 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 run. Faster, faster, faster. <coughs> and we are almost there. And we just crossed over, and we have our pasture music going. Nice. I can run back over here. Nice. It's working. Let's run over here. Uh-oh. Well, what happened? Why isn't it working? Here's why it's not working. Why it's not working there, <coughs> let's go ahead and close that out of the way, is if I take a look at my force trigger and my bridge. Where's my bridge? There's my bridge. Let's grab them both. Notice that their, tr their colliders overlap. So I didn't leave my forest until after I was already in the bridge. Couple things I can do here. One is I can make my bridge collider smaller so that I've got a gap there. That'll work, that'll work just fine. I can also make my forest collider smaller so it doesn't start playing until, oh, right about here. And then I've still got this gap, that'll work it'll work just fine. I'm going to show you a third option and this third option is going to be a playmaker option. So I'm going to grab my music. What I'm going to do here is, so I've already got my on trigger, come on, my on trigger enter. Let's add another trigger event and this trigger event is going to be an on trigger stay bridge and my event is going to be play exploration. So basically what this one is saying is, it's saying, hey, look, if I'm still inside a bridge trigger, let's do this. So I've left the forest and I'm inside the bridge. So that way I can catch it in a couple of different ways. And this can even allow me to then overlap some trigger volumes into some different areas. You know, and I'm calling them trigger volumes and not you know, just kind of using a term that I'm comfortable with. Okay, so let's come back over here, and it's switched back. Nice. All right, so we've got that problem taken care of. Wasn't too bad. Now, <clears throat> as a little bonus to this video, let's go ahead and take a look at his footsteps. Because in the book, I kind of said, okay, a hint on the footstep exercise is look at what we did in the, uh, the music controller for our footsteps here. And it's like, yeah, okay, I can kind of see that, uh, except where am I switching? How am I going to handle this exactly? So let's do it a different way, uh, perhaps an easier way. Sometimes, you know, when, when we're given hints and whatnot, they kind of lock us into this certain way of thinking, and then we become unable to break out of that and try something else. So I'm going to try something completely different. 
I'm going to go find my water. Where's my water? Do I have water? There's my water. And I'm going to add a collider to it. I'm going to add a box collider. Currently it has a size of 0 and Y, so I'm just going to make that a 1. Okay, so it's got some, some depth, something for me to collide with. I'm going to make this a trigger. Trigger volume, just like we've been seeing everywhere else. I'm going to give my water a tag of water. And then I'm going to go to my Sancho. Now in my Sancho, I am going to go ahead and create a brand new state machine. So let's see. We've got a water collision. Okay, well that's just doing that. No, 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 no that's not what I want. So I'm going to create a brand new state machine. So I'm going to add an FSM and I'm going to call this FSM um, Water Footsteps. No, actually I'm going to call this uh, Change Footsteps. All right. And <clears throat> we've got our State 1. I'm going to call Standard State. I'm going to add another state. I'm going to call this State Water. There we go. Like so. And I'm going to add me an event, hit water, and left water. There we go. Oops, no, you're not a global event. So my left water, so I'm going to select my water state, add transition left water. I'll go back to my standard. Add transition hit water. I'll go back to my water. There we go. And let's see, I'm going to need me some variables. So let's do a variable here. This is going to be an object. Object, where you at? There it is. Uh, let's call you um, grass footsteps. I will add you. Object is going to be Unity Engine Audio Clip. I'll make it inspector even though I can come back later and I mean the point of the inspector is so that I can come back later and change it if I want but I'm also going to go ahead and give it a default value here footstep grass nice there we go alright let's add a water footsteps also an object and we will go with a unity engine audio clip uh, let's give it a default value of uh, footstep water 2 uh, make it inspector as well. And I'm going to add one more. I'm going to go ahead and do a stone footstep. It's also an object. It's a Unity Engine audio clip. And I'm going to give it a footstep stone and an inspector as well. Okay, so I've got my, my variables and I've got my events. I'm all hooked up. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Inside our standard, we're going to do, uh, let's come over here, let's do an action browser. We're going to use a trigger event. And the trigger we're looking for is on trigger enter water. We're going to fire a hit water event. Now while we're here, let's go ahead and do a um, set FSM object right there. Let's add that one. And the point of this one is going to be we're going to use our owner. We're going to go to our footsteps. The variable we're going to set is going to be our sound. And we're going to set it to be our grass footsteps. Nice. All right, let's come over here to water. Actually, you know what? Let's select both of these. Control C, select our water. Right click, paste actions. Uh, footstep sound, water. On trigger enter water, let's do an on trigger exit water, left water. Bang, that's it. Okay, so now the reason I added a stone is it makes sense. I could go ahead and do an on trigger enter town and change my footsteps so, so, sounds right in here instead of in the music manager, which would make a whole lot more sense than the way that it was, than the way that we did it there. So let's go ahead and drag Sancho over here by the ocean so we don't have to run too far and see what we've got. <clears throat> okay, we got our grass. We got our water. We got our grass. Sweet. Done. Our music works. We got our footsteps. Wonderful job. Okay, cool. So if you got any questions, any comments, anything, um, maybe a better way of doing it, 
throw it down in the comments below. Um, look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.